Hi guys. Um, I just wanted to tell y'all that Hobby Lobby is having a half off sale on all of their paintbrushes and um, I forgot who it was. I'll look it up later and put it up. But someone was uh, did a review on some of the um, Lowell Cornell brushes that are comparable to MAC and I went over there and I was able to find some of them. I couldn't find all of them. But um, I'm going to go through them. I was able to get eight. And I paid $21, $2, um, and some change in all. Um, and like I said, they're half off right now, so I would have paid 40 and some change. So the first one I got is Low Carnell uh, Maxine's Mop 1 Inch. And this one I used with my Faraday rice powder. Um, and I liked it because it's thin. Um, so it only picked up a little bit of the product on the edges, and with that uh, Faraday rice powder, you don't need a lot. Um, a little bit goes a really long way. So it only picked up a little bit on the edges, and then I just brushed that on. And it's really, really soft, and I've um, washed it, and it got even softer. So I don't know if maybe there's, I don't know if something happened, but I mean, I just used regular um, dishwashing liquid. So that was a good one. I got the Royal Majestic 3 8 um, what are they called, doe foot, deer foot, whatever they are, but it's round, and then it's at, cut at an angle, and they had three sizes, um, and I got the middle one, uh, so it fit perfectly on my lid, and these are really good at packing on a lot of colors, really, really dense, so, and then really soft, and because... It, so it doesn't hurt. Um, I also got a Master's Touch Tight Spot Detailer and it's an angled eyeliner brush. And this I paid, it was originally like two bucks so I only paid a dollar for that. And then I got the Low Cornell Angular 1 8 and this is really, really tiny. I mean, here's my fingernail right next to it. Let me see, there we go. And it's really thin. So, I mean, that's how small it is on its own. And then it's really thin, the tip. So that's going to be really good to get um, close to the lash line on top, too. Okay, and then I got the Royal Majestic, I think this is the three-quarter inch mop. And this one I really like. It's small. And then I'm going to look this up, too, because there's another person that did a review on a MAC brush that looks really close to this. This is white goat hair. Hers was black. But um, it's small. I mean, you can see it fits every... I mean, it's really good at getting in here. And it's thin. I mean, this is how thin it is, and that's how wide. And I kind of wish this the, um, the low Cornell one was a bit like that, because, like, look how fluffy this one is. I mean, I kind of wish this one was like that, but... I mean, for what I use this one for, it's good. But this one I've been I used with um, my liquid foundation, and it buffs it really good into like to give you like a really good airbrush feeling. When I first used it, though, it was kind of rough on the skin. Um, but I washed it again with just uh, regular dishwashing liquid, and it got really, really soft. And so now it feels better. So, but anyway, this one's really good because it gets like really good and everywhere, all the little crevices and stuff. And um, this really, like, a little bit goes a long way with that one. Then I got a Royal Majestic. Um, it doesn't, they, they don't really say on here what they are, but the number is $49.99. They all have numbers um, on them. And these ones I like, too. I, should, I, just, I guess I didn't show you. All of the Royal Majestic, they have, like, these rubber grips on them, which I kind of wish all of them had, but just these ones do. So this one um, is like, it's going to be like a smudger brush. I uh, saw one like this by, oh, the one at Target, um, the Sony Kashuk brush. There's a, um, a smudger brush and it's really close to this. I think hers is a little bit shorter, but I don't think this is going to be much different. So I got that one. Then I got a Royal Majestic 40, 55. Again, they don't have the names of what they are. And this one um, I got because 
I needed a crease brush, and the one I have by Sonia Kushik is supposed to be a crease brush, but it's really, really thick. Here's the Sonia Kushik crease brush. And then here is focus. And then here is the one I just got. So this one I've been using more as a blender. It's really, really good for that. It's soft and it's dense, and I just blend with this one. This one, though, I'm going to really like for the crease. You can see it's kind of ta it tapers, so it's going to pick up a little product on the um, on the tips, and then um, you can see that's going to be really good. And this one's really soft too. Okay, and then one more. I got the Low Cornell Maxine's Mop 3 8 inch, and this one I used today, and it is great at packing on color. I used it with the mineral um, eyeshadow, and this one was really, really good at picking up a lot of color product. Um, it's dense, and it's soft, but it's not, like, flimsy hairs. Um, they're, I, don't, I mean, I don't know how you, they're firm. Anyway, so this one was really, really good, and this one was comparable to, uh, too. So I will post a link to the, um, to those two, uh, YouTube users that I was saying. One of them, um, he goes through a lot of the, um, low Cornell brushes and shows them compared to, like, a MAC brush. And then this one, the one I was saying, I'll, sh I'll post her, too, because she, she raved about that one. And this one's really close. I mean, she says how it's like flat on top, and this one's kind of, you know, and then it rounds. It's thick. It's small. It looks as small as hers. I don't know. I don't have that brush, so anyway, half off Hobby Lobby.